Speak of uh, black, black excellence. This is Abdias Dalizme once again, and uh, this episode is about uh, Jerry Lawson. He is a engineer that pioneered the game consoles. Check it out, guys. Jerry Lawson was an engineer primarily credited with developing the uh, RE ROM video game cartridge console, and which basically pioneered. Um, home video gaming as you see today um, he developed the first home video game system with interchangeable games and paved the way for such gaming systems as atari uh, nintendo xbox and even the playstation new york on december 1st 1940 while neither of his parents were scientists or engineers lawson's grandfather was a physicist and although he was never able to become a scientist he uh, instead became a postmaster, and this was due to slavery. Boston's first interest was chemistry, but at the age of 13, he became an amateur radio operator, building his own radio station in his bedroom. He would later receive his first class commercial license, which would lead to a job as a radio station engineer. He later enrolled in Queens College, um, part of the City University of New York. In the, in the 1970s, he was inducted into the Silicon Valley's Homebrew Computer Club, where he was the only black member at that time. This is also where he met Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Austin would later be become the chief engineer of Fairchild's video game division. And a fun fact about Fairchild's video games is only a few years before Jerry Lawson became the chief engineer, a man named Mike Makula was head of marketing for that company. And Mike was actually the co-founder of Apple Computers. Boom, Jerry Lawson. Jerry was one of the few black engineers in his industry. Lawson later said that his colleagues were very often surprised to find out that he was an African-American. <laughs> he once said, and I quote, with some people, it's become an issue. I've had people look at me with total shock, particularly if they hear my voice because they think that all black people have a voice that sounds a certain way and they know it. And I sit there and go, oh yeah? Well, sorry, I don't. <laughs> and unfortunately, Jerry Lawson died in Mountain View, California on April 9th, 2011, due to complications relating to his diabetes. He was survived by his wife, Catherine, and two children. Today I got from, uh, from um, biography.com as well as allaboutcircuits.com and Google, Wikipedia. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. Be sure to uh, search me on Facebook, Abdias Dalizme. Also on Instagram, um, Abdias underscore Dalizme underscore four two, um, as well as the uh, the YouTube channel, um, Timeless Black Excellence. You guys, take care. See you next time.